Dennis Meyer, and I've had the honor of being the pastor for Bethany Lutheran Church the last 20 years. And I've been a longtime fan of the artist that I'm about to tell you about. Uh, it's very exciting news to share with you on behalf of the members and friends of Bethany Church. This July 5th, right here at the LaPorte Civic Auditorium that you see behind me, uh, Bethany Lutheran Church is sponsoring a performance by an artist whose country music has inspired millions and whose inspirational albums have garnered many awards for him and his lo uh, longtime producer. In 2001, Atlantic Warner album Inspirational Journey won the Dove Award for Bluegrass Album of the Year and the Dove Award for Country Album of the Year. His single, Three Wooden Crosses, also won the 2003 CMA Award for the Song of the Year, along with numerous other awards from his many, many other albums. This multi-Grammy and Dove Award-winning artist is none other than Randy Travis, who will perform live in a special unplugged inspirational performance one night only, July 5th at 7 p.m. I'd also like to introduce, uh, officially now, Jenny Hartson, who we believe will be the next future star. Uh, she's going to be performing on June 23rd, and Jenny will open the concert. Uh, Jenny, is there anything that you'd like to say? Um, this is unbelievable. I can't imagine how awesome it's going to be. It's an honor, so thank you. Any any word yet on the songs that you're going to sing, Jenny? Um, I have six of them chosen, and it's from here on out that Randy gets to decide. So Excellent. Whatever he says. Well, we really appreciate the Travis organization working with us and giving you an opportunity to sing that night and we're, we're excited about that for you and for us. Uh, tickets are on sale uh, within the next couple of days via the web. Uh, people can get tickets at www.bethanylaporte.org or by calling 219-362-3312. We'll have volunteers there from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. Uh, uh, most days of the week other than Saturday and Sunday. Uh, the other exciting thing about this is we'll have reserved seating. Uh, they can actually go online, pick their seats out online at our website, and the seats are very affordable. They're $35, they're $30, and they're $25 with a nominal service fee for processing. We want to share our celebration of our church at Susquehannock with a whole region by sharing the good news and inspiration of a great American artist. Um, I'll answer any questions that you might have at this time. Well, how did it come about? Well, thanks to the contact uh, of Kerry Garwood last year with his organization, uh, we had an initial contact uh, with the Travis organization. They made contact with her this year, and uh, since it was the 150th anniversary for the church, uh, we were able to follow up and make contact. He's going to be in Naperville, Illinois on the 4th of July, and uh, he's coming over here then to do the uh, cele celebration concert, inspirational concert on the 5th. So it worked out well with his schedule and with the opportunity that we had here. The other part of this, and I didn't mention this in the, the statement, but uh, the church is not profiting from this. Uh, we're going to turn around and give the proceeds uh, to, well, after expenses, uh, we're going to give the proceeds to the Deserving Children's Christmas Shopping Fund for LaPorte and for Michigan City. So this isn't just a LaPorte thing, it's for LaPorte and Michigan City, and it benefits kids from all over the county. So we're really excited about that. And I want to thank Dean, who... Um, really has worked with us uh, to help keep our costs down in terms of the performance here at the Civic. He's really uh, done a great job and helped us out in, in making the path smooth to getting this uh, performance ready to go. I don't know, but um, you can check his website. We're actually at, uh, on his concert <laughs> list. On his website, I think you visit, yeah. you visited it, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know exactly where he's going after this, but uh, we we described uh, in our initial proposal we described the Civic Auditorium as the lining of the court. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure what they're going to expect, but uh, I hope they expect good things because we hope for a sellout on this. Because 
what is the seating capacity? I forget of the Civic. Approximately 2,500. A little bit more than that, actually, with the bleacher seats. But uh, we really think that people need to get online or call soon because we think this is going to sell out. I'm sorry. We had to make an initial presentation. Uh... Yeah, we actually had to send in a proposal to them. And once agreed upon, we had to send a, a fairly significant deposit to them, too, because uh, these artists don't work for free. And so the church has really put itself on the line in, in making a, a, a significant deposit to get him here. And, uh, and then, of course, we'll have to pay him additionally uh, for, for the concert as well. But uh, we hope after expenses there will still be, uh, if we sell out, Kids are going to benefit. They're the, the kids from LaPorte and Michigan City, the deserving kids. They're the ones that are going to be the beneficiaries. Along with everybody else who has fun uh, and enjoys the concert, the kids are going to benefit. And that's, I think, really exciting. What? I said, you've got to be on cloud nine. Oh, well, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, Jenny, um, you, are you, you're in a, a separate class. They have different classes of singers, or is this just one group? For, for who's your star? There are two classes, an adult division and a youth division. So you're in the youth, the youth division. division. Yeah. And so, and the, that's the... So six to 17. I think the youngest is seven. And, and where are you guys going to be doing this? At the Civic, actually. So on the June 23rd, 23rd of the Civic, they're going to be here, too. Yeah. Be so we'll actually know yeah, what's happening know. for you. Okay. Do you have your song picked out yet, what you're going to do? I'm singing Defying Gravity from Wicked for June 23rd. Very excited. With the full symphony, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's that not to suggest that we endorse wickedness. Oh, yeah. As a church, yeah. but. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Although it happens. I, <laughs> I Do you, is Randy doing strictly an inspirational concert, or is he going to blend in some of his older country tunes? Do you know what kind of. I think it's a mix. It's a mix? Uh, of both his inspirational as, as well as a few of his traditional. This is, I think, primarily going to be an acoustic group that is here, so kind of that unplugged feeling. Uh, it's going to be a very intimate feel, too, because uh, he's going to give uh, his own personal testimony of how he came to know God, and uh, uh, I get to actually participate in that part of it, I guess, uh, get to do sort of an interview back and forth uh, conversation with him. So, It'll, but I think it'll bring everybody into it because they'll get to hear him talk about his own life and his own personal journey. Because I know his focus has kind of shifted more towards inspirational music now. So I didn't know if yeah. he's just doing that or mixing in some I think, you know, thanks to his uh, great success in uh, country music, it's allowed him to, to focus on things that he really loves to do. And I think this is one of the things he really loves to do. So we're going to I think we're going to see Randy at his at his best uh, and what he loves the most. A 2 hour concert, hour and a half, any time frame? 90 minutes. 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that too. You need one of those ear mics. Yeah. Carrie says she has to have maple sugar down there. I think so. Yeah. We'll have some for the Travis organization. Now, do you have other events, too? I know you just had the concert, the Legacy of Faith concert. Do you have any other sesquicentennial events coming up as well, in addition to this concert? We have, we have a major celebration. Uh, the, the actual celebration of the 150th is going to be in October, the last Sunday of October. And um, the night before, we're having a um, smorgasbord. So if the press wants to come, you get a great meal. Uh, <laughs> and uh, then on that Sunday, the last Sunday of October, uh, the bishop from Indiana, Kentucky, uh, will be here and we'll have a celebration service uh, in the morning. We have a few other events that are going to be occurring throughout the summer. Our youth mission trip is taking place out to South Dakota, to uh, Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Uh, we have an uh, ice cream social, uh, which is... Uh, June, July 28th, July 28th. and uh, then we're having the June church. 28th. <laughs> June 28th, sorry, June 28th. Uh, we have the church picnic, which is everybody's invited to. So we've got several events, and uh, we can get you additional dates and information if you want it.